A separatist plot from before the war even started? That seems unlikely. <laughs> the legendary smirk by the one and only Palpatine was something used frequently in the Clone Wars. The praised animated series didn't only flesh out our heroes, it also expanded the perspective of the villains. I enjoyed every second Chancellor Palpatine appeared on screen, because it often illustrated both sides of his personality without any of the other characters understanding it. His constant shift in charisma, a sudden grin when nobody was observing him, along with the non-stop manipulation of the entire galaxy was so entertaining to watch. Meanwhile, it added an insane amount of insight towards his ambitious master plan. Even if the Sith Lord himself rarely featured in anything else than a hologram, his presence heightened with each episode as a result of the Jedi's growing suspicions and the never-ending chaos of war, a direct consequence of Palpatine's clever actions. You cannot deny your feelings, Anakin. They are what make you special. Many of the relationships Palpatine formed throughout the prequel movies gets highlighted in The Clone Wars. Amera, Dooku, and Anakin is just a few examples of them. His conversations and tactics against the Jedi Order was details I found extremely interesting because of how clever they were. He constantly leads the Order into different kinds of psychological and physical traps that in course of time turns the entire Republic against them. We witnessed the beginning of Palpatine's and Anakin's devious relationship that eventually would be the deciding factor of the entire saga, and how the evil Sith Lord deals with problems like the Underworld, Maul, and Bounty Hunters. The audience gets the whole picture of how Palpatine operates, at the same time as every other character only gets a single perspective. And that's what's so extremely brilliant about Palpatine's entire story arc, not just in the Clone Wars. Now, where were we? The series also explains that Palpatine's journey didn't go without notice, and that it had its problems along the way. The Jedi Order is regularly one step behind him, yet sometimes actually get pretty close to the truth. The Order 66 arc or the Yoda arc is of course the prime examples, although stories like Cad Bane stealing Jedi children went quite poorly as well. I found these moments good, because witnessing a Palpatine under some type of stress and tension was something rarely found in Star Wars. The movies pretty much paints a picture of an overpowered Sith Lord that has everything under control, until Vader throws him down that shaft. But Clone Wars shines a light on a more realistic story that isn't so perfect after all. The episodes when everything doesn't go as planned is the most to my liking, because I found it intriguing to observe Palpatine think on the spot, and even handle situations entirely on his own. A presence I haven't felt since... Master. <laughs> The few moments we get with Darth Sidious were fascinating. The lightsaber duels against Maul and Savage, as well as Yoda, was highlights of the entire series. Clone Wars shows us tidbits of what the Sith were capable of doing, especially in the Yoda arc, when Darth Sidious performs some sort of Sith ritual, similarly to what we witnessed in Rebel Season 4. These moments were necessary for adding variation in the stories that were told, but it also broadened Palpatine's character in a great way, giving him an improved framework of abilities and an understanding of what he actually wanted to accomplish beyond killing Jedi. He does so much throughout the series, taking control of the banks, manipulating both the Jedi and the Senate, along with kidnapping four sensitive children, and those are only a few examples. He even gets himself kidnapped for the reason to get Anakin and Dooku to clash, so that Palpatine could witness the progress of the Chosen One. What the writers did absolutely best regarding Palpatine was the sequences when he used his position of power to straight up outplay his enemies, because the audience and every now and then the characters realized that he stopped acting. He went from the kind chancellor of the Republic to the all-out evil Sith Lord within a few seconds. We witnessed this in Revenge of the Sith, but the Clone Wars also showed us moments of this brilliant swift turnaround, for instance in the Order 66 arc with Fives, but also the conversation between him and Amera. For the record, one of the best scenes in the entire show. What do you plan to do about this? We must let the wheels of the Senate turn. Palpatine is such a great character, and Clone Wars made me love him even more. Every single one of his face expressions was intriguing to watch, because you never knew when he suddenly would switch his behavior. They managed to make a on-the-surface evil character unpredictable, and that's a great accomplishment. Thank you for watching, press the like button, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and may the Force be with you.